And for you right now, where a class dedicated to helping those with movement disorders was finally able to start up again. Yeah, this is great. Hartford Healthcare's wellness classes had been put on hold because of COVID-19. And today, participants were very eager to get back in the class again. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards has the story in today's Wellness Wednesday report. These classes help those with movement disorders, and today, after several months, wellness classes were able to start up again here at Hartford HealthCare. Go back to our way, just regulating our breath. For many, Tai Chi is a great way to stretch and build strength, but for those in this class, it's a lot more. This wellness class is designed to help people with movement disorders. Some of the exercise helps some of our symptoms, either by uh, exercise or even talking to somebody else here. They suggested I take this as a means of exercise. Joe Panicello tells us he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease back in April. The disorder affects the central nervous system. There's got to be some level of stability with Parkinson's because right now I have trouble. I lose my balance uh, and it's, it's tough. Joe wasn't able to take this class after his diagnosis because for the past year and a half, they've been canceled due to COVID. But yesterday, he got the call to sign up. So it's really time to really get back in the swing of things, and we're just glad to have this variety of wellness classes. Dr. Sue Kinchana tells us these classes are a necessary component for dealing with Parkinson's and other movement disorders. And it's a place where people can get their physical work done in a safe, comfortable environment. They can meet other people of, um, of same interest. Because of COVID, class sizes are limited to six participants. And it's not just Tai Chi. Other classes include yoga, boxing, and dance. People can register to take classes on Hartford HealthCare's website. For Wellness Wednesday, I'm Erin Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.